you guys to Short From Choice Movies where I'm going to have to lower my camera. So, today is going to be a pretty long one. I'm not, I'm, uh, contrary to popular uh, belief, I actually do, um, play video games. And so, uh, I occasionally order some new ones. And this, uh, set that I ordered in particular is, uh, pretty interesting, um, so the story behind it is, uh, I ordered this lot, and um, like I said, it's really interesting. I um, ordered it, and it was expected to come like, I don't know, uh, September like uh, 9th or like 7th through 9th or something, uh, but then it didn't come. I waited a few days for COVID. Um, and they still didn't, um, still weren't here. And then I just bought another one, uh, to replace it. But then they, uh, I opened like a request or something to, uh, um, get him to refund me. And he did initially, but then I think he must have taken it back or something, um, because, uh, as you'll see in a second, they actually arrived here at my doorstep. Well, oh, this one's kind of low. Here they are. We got uh, Simpsons Road Rage here. Uh, here's one that I didn't actually originally see in the lot. Uh, it was like a bonus game, and it's NBA Street on GameCube. Time Splitters Future Perfect. Uh, teacher, Mentor, Ultimate Opponent, a Chess Master from Ubisoft, actually. Dance Dance Revolution Ultra Mix 3. Monopoly Party. Uh, 2K Sports NBA 2K10. Crackdown, which is actually uh, this one and uh, 2K10 are ones I didn't actually see in the lot. And then the one I was, like, most excited for was Halo 3. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try these out. Um, so, this video is the reason why I'm not going to do Mario 3 today. Uh, I will do it eventually, but I just did Mario 3, and I, like, feel like some people need a break from that, even though it's a classic, a timeless classic, but uh, people need variety. So, I'm going to try these out. We're going to start with Road Rage. I'm going to get my 360 going. Uh... Let me switch here. There we go. Um, and it's, uh, I believe the, there might be something wrong with the video cord right now. Oh, there we go. Whoops, something's horribly wrong. There we go. Uh, so this was, uh, I don't know what this was that I had in here. Uh, it's DreamWorks Superstar cards, but it's pretty scratched, so sometimes it doesn't register. And I forgot to mention, but uh, these are all in like pretty good condition, and that's good because my uh, 360's disc laser actually isn't very, not very good at all. So, uh, wait, no, 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 open. Let's put Road Rage in here, and we're gonna test it out. We're just gonna test out all these games, see which ones work. Read the disc. Here we go, Xbox. There we go, Simpsons Road Rage. Let's go. EA, Electronic Arts, Fox Interactive. Just want to play a little bit of this game. Do like a mini review on it. Press start. Road Rage Sunday Drive. I actually played the uh, GBA version of this game, but I never owned one of the console versions, so it's nice to finally have that. We'll try Sunday Drive. Just a quick little race. Homer, Evergreen Terrace, 
Uh, unlike the GBA version, uh, the Xbox version, I don't know about the GameCube and PS2, but I, in this one you can't pick your car, for Sunday drive mode at least. I believe you could have mission mode, but in this one you're always in the, come on, just go, 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 go. Oh, the Xbox guide is not available when an original Xbox game is running, like I didn't know that before. Wait, wait, okay, you just press A to accelerate. This just feels like a crazy taxi. What do I revert? Okay. Yeah, a and B. It's the same controls as GBA, which honestly is kind of, uh, kind of odd for a game uh, with a controller with this many buttons. I believe it, uh, I'm, I'm glad it didn't use, like, the black and white buttons, because those are hard to push on the original Xbox controller. Xbox 360 controller, I, I believe, uh, black and white were changed to the right and, uh, left bumpers for Xbox games, but, um... Alright. Oh! Vibration? Alright, we'll try another one here. We'll try, um... NBA Street on GameCube. Real quick. Uh... Uh, check this. So, so we'll unplug these for just one second. We'll, we'll get these back. Then we will plug in my GameCube. Because I have my GameCube unplugged in order to plug the other one in. Both the Wii and 360. Once I got my 360, it was just a lot more complicated. We'll plug in my GameCube here. Turn it on, and... Nintendo GameCube. Get NBA Street, really good quality too. Wait, what's what, what's going on with my GameCube controller? What's going on? Oh wait, this is the other one. Uh, put in a disc. Hopefully it doesn't load like all my GameCube games do, where it's like a 50-50 chance. There we go, NBA Street. Play a little bit of this. Licensed by Nintendo. That's a good sign. Loading. Not a good sign, but because it's loading. There we go. Checking for memory card in slot A. Please do not remove memory card in slot A. Checking for memory card in slot B. There's no memory. I only have one memory card. Uh... Start. A. Yes. Wow, that was loud. NBA Street's pretty cool. Options. Uh, commentator, SFS Muni, autosave. Difficulty, no game, gap game, bad game, <laughs> in game help, user ID. Alright, let, let me just play a little bit of, uh. A. I'm gonna be. Ah! The Atlanta. Ahs! I'm playing with the I'm playing with the Atlanta Ahs! I'm playing with the point. Alright, I think we've like spent a bit too much time on this game, you know. Uh well we're only going for nine minutes. We can play like one quick game. Uh and you on the court player, I'll be the good looking brother. Uh there we go. Let's hurry up. Let's go. Oh, I, oh, you can just press start. Spinning basketball. Come on, NBA Street. Let's go. A, A, a point, easy difficulty. Oh, 
Uh, what do you do? Uh, do you, can you move? Okay, I can move. I can throw. I can pass. How do I, uh, don't? Oh, I almost had it. There's so much lag with my newer TV. These are, like, really outdated teams, too. Oh, Al, you! Let's go! <laughs> All right. Uh, street? What is the camera type? No, keep the rumble on. I like that. Uh, glide. Let's try glide camera. Okay, so this is just mo camera movement with, I believe, the C-stick? Can we move with the C-stick? No, we can't. Block it! Oh, we got an alley-oop. All right. But watch this. My NBA Street don't need no game disc to run. Look at that. Uh, okay, that that that, that wasn't a wasn't a good look, but um, at least it was running for a few seconds without the game disc in. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get everything back to the order, and then we're gonna try the rest of the three. Uh, I believe this was the only game for a non Xbox platform that I had to do. So that, that's good. I'll plug these back in. I could have just used my uh, GameCube, uh, my Wii for GameCube, but um, that, that oh, it only would have saved me one, one plug. Get ready for oh, there's still um, music from uh, Road Rage coming in. There's still music from <laughs> Road Rage. <laughs> okay, okay, we're we're getting this out. Um. Reject. Reject Road Rage. I, I'm, I'm ni it's nice it can detect what Xbox game it was, because I believe on the original console it couldn't do that. That's really nice that they implemented that. Let's do, um, let's quickly run through a Chess Master. Um, Chess Master, who's the back, to, back of the box? Oh, I'll put it in full screen. The back of the box uh, with Chess. Actually, we'll skip over this one. He, the seller told me that this one actually works. So, uh, I believe we'll just skip over Chess Master. Uh, if you guys want to, like, comment down below for Chess Master um, video, then I, I'll do Chess Master. But uh, I'm pretty sure you all know how chess works. And Chess Master is just chess. But you have to be a master to play it. And I'm not a master, sadly. So, uh, the next uh, actual interesting game we have is uh, Time Splitters Future Perfect for uh, Xbox. Yo! What? He told me there was Time Splitters, but there was also Fable behind it, yo! <laughs> yo, like, I, I cannot believe that I got, like, an extra game with my, my purchase. Like, dude. Like, seriously. Um, Fable, like, it. it's a pretty good game. So, uh, I'm going to have you comment down below. Uh, which one do you like better? Uh, which one do you think we should do? Uh, Time Splitters, Future Perfect, or Fable? Uh, they're both rated M. Luckily, Mom's not around, so we can play rated M. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but, um... Yeah, uh, I guess this one doesn't have a case. I will definitely get a case for this. Um, in fact, um, I actually have an empty uh, Call of Duty Ghosts case. So if I uh, that I, I got I showed on my Instagram. So if I just take off the uh, artwork, we can put Fable in it. There we go. That looks good. So uh, Call of Duty Ghosts artwork. Yeah, there's that. Time splitters. Uh, do we uh, do we play time splitters or fable? Uh, I guess I'll play fable. Uh, I'll play times again. Comment down below if you guys want to see me play uh, time splitters, but uh, I may do that in another video. Cause like I'm still sh stoked that um, another game was in the the case and I just didn't know about it. Like, oh come on, my th my 360s like got this thing where it like. N Almost never, it's sometimes, but it almost never responds to the my request for the uh, disc tray to close uh, whenever I do it with the button. There we go. 
We putting in Fable, yo. There we go, Xbox. We'll get into some 360 ones later. But here we go, original Xbox. Does it look better in 240p? I, I guess it does look better in 240p, but I'll keep it in uh, 16 by 9 because that's what we did for the rest of the video. Yo, is this one broken? Yeah, do you think my... Yo, I think my, th my 360 just froze. Oh no, that's not a good sound. It's the sound when it's trying to read the disc that it can't register. Oh, yep, it, it could. There we go! Fable on the Xbox. Why, like, why can't you use the Xbox guide with the uh, Xbox game? I mean, I know they weren't designed for that, but um, you, you totally could do that. Can you skip through? Big Blue Box Studios Limited. Uh, what is this? Microsoft Game Studios. Okay. Okay. Can we skip this cutscene, please? Please. Skip it. Skip it. Uh, pressing RT does it apparently. The right trigger. Okay. Uh, what a what a random what a random thing. Uh, okay, we need to make a profile. Uh, you can do it in the options: brightness, normal camera, HUD, alpha, tutorials. Okay, let's turn the vibration on. Uh, audio. Uh, audio profile. Use headphones. What does that change? Xbox. Uh, I'm pretty sure that will make it sound better. Xbox Live. Sign in. Uh, how does, would that work on the 360? Would you like? Okay, let's try a new game. We'll be. Um... Oh wait, I gotta do backspace. Can I do X for backspace? Oh no, we can't do that. No, 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 Um, Fable I've always wanted to play, but I've never been able to find. So finally, finally being able to have it as like a bonus game, <laughs> that's just sh so shocking. Uh, we're not gonna spend too much time on Fable, but I'll, uh, I'll start a new, new game. Oh, so this is like, uh... That game I played, uh, Clash of Heroes. Yo, this is gonna be fun. Tattoo cards? Oh, this is like a card game. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, I, I love card games. Oh, yeah, I think this would look better in 240p rather than 480i, but. Or, uh, 16 by 9 rather than 4 by 3 but, um. Deep in the forest of Albion. There's a small town. Stop, stop. And this time it's X. Okay, this time it's Y to skip the scene. I can't believe how the... Okay, so... Uh, Fable? I guess it didn't really live up to the hype, because, uh... Oh, there's a cuckoo from Zelda. Uh, you can punch people. You can punch these kids. It's made in the style of, like, uh... Twilight Princess, almost, or a Skyward Sword, kind of those two combined in the tone. They kind of did that. Uh, let me let me go back to the menu. Why exit home? All right, and the next one we're gonna probably try is um, again we're gonna skip over NBA 2K10. It's just a sports game, and we already played a sports game. We already played. Uh, NBA Street, so, uh, yeah. But the next one we are going to try is, uh, uh, Crackdown on 360. Are there any secret ones in this? No, there are no secret games in here. <laughs> I'm just so, it, like, ecstatic that there would be a secret hidden game that only legends have spoken of.
chess master in the comments. And I will do chess master. I promise. I promise I will do chess master. It, it <laughs> it's just we only have like so long in this video. I'm trying to keep it short. So we sadly have to cut out a couple favorites. We're definitely going to do Halo 3 though. Crackdown we took we could do. Uh Got a lot of more mature oriented games, which I do like some uh I do like some kind of maturity in games, but uh uh you know, on the other hand, like it's kind of hard to judge a game based on Oh, okay, is it is this one not working or is it just my disclaimer? Oh, read the disc. Come on, read the disc. Oh, it's taking taking a while to read. Anything in my games? Is you like the game disc? No. Reading, still reading. Still reading. Oh, play game. Uh, game details. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, what game was that? Uh, Crackdown. Oh, that's, that's so sad that this disc wasn't readable. They didn't even tell me it was unreadable, which is a, a major bummer. Uh... Uh, oh no, whenever, whenever, like, this kind of seizure alert happens when you mash X, you know you're in trouble. Let's eject. Uh, doesn't look too dirty, so I'm, I, I don't have a lot of hope for this one. Um. We only have time for one more game, so sadly we are going to have to cut out uh, Colt Classics. Uh, this is going to hurt some of you, but we're going to have to cut out the Colt Classics that are Monopoly Party and Dance Dance Revolution Ultra Mix. Sorry. Oh, but this one has live online enabled. So if I ever want to like mod my 360 for uh, Xbox Online, but... Um, the final game is, of course, Halo. That's pretty much the entire reason I bought this lot is for Halo. Uh, I love Halo. Uh, let's get the disc out. Really love Halo, but um, I can't, like, uh, ever fathom, like, not playing it. The only Halo that I've played is, like, um, a demo of... Uh, Halo 3 uh, ODST, I think it was, or uh, Halo 4 or something, uh, but I played a demo of it on my, my grandma's other 360, and it was like, please tell me this one is readable. Black. It's going black for quite a while. Yeah! We got uh, Halo 3. There we go. I've always wanted to play Halo 3, uh, so we are going to spend a... Uh, like two whole minutes on it. We're gonna spend like quite a bit of time on this, uh, cause I've always wanted to play, uh, Halo. I have Halo 2 for the original Xbox, but it doesn't work. So, uh, you can't, you, uh, sadly, you guys cannot see because of my, uh, loyal followers down there, but, um, Uh, it says, uh, right there where my cursor is, it says campaign. This one's matchmaking, custom games, forge, and theater, and then start solo game, which you can see. Uh, oh, and settings. Uh, start. Why would they have start be settings? Game controls, voice communication, screen settings. Uh, okay, let's just... Let's just uh, start solo game. Normal. Uh, I like normal difficulty. Halo 3. We're going to do it. I'm going to play a Halo. It's my first Halo. Um, is there like a source on this that's making it super bright? Three sixty looks brighter than it should. 
They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. No, that doesn't that doesn't change anything. Well, no. I did my research. Watched as you became the soldier who needed you. Alright. Uh revert to last save. Uh start doesn't do anything. Uh what if what does this do? Uh select quick scroll. Uh with LT and RT. Can I Is it like Fable where like RT or something skips it? Oh, it's just Y. Look up here, sir. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh wait, I have to use uh I have to use the uh now down here. Right. He said good right, like, before I did, I looked. Everything checks out, Sergeant Major. Kick off the training wheels, Corporal. He's good to go. I'm sorry I can't show you these cutscenes, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them are copyrighted by Microsoft. Uh, Halo 3? Oh, is this just the loading screen? Because if so, I'm going to have a blast playing this. If just the loading screen is awesome. Okay, can I move? Okay, why? Why? Skip the cutscene. Skip the cutscene. Can I move? Walk it off. Uh, look. Can I move? Uh, can I shoot? Okay, there we go. We can shoot. Checkpoint done. Checkpoint done. They couldn't just say checkpoint reached or checkpoint like completed or something. Oh wait, are they, are these my comrades? Are they, are these guys like uh? Can I drive to shoot these guys or? Okay, they're probably my, uh, my friends. My friends. Where is everyone else going? Bravo team, this is Johnson. We got him. Fall back to the extraction point. Over. Okay, go. Hey, look at that. Reynolds out. Okay, I gotta follow the blue arrow. Oh, wait, I gotta jump. Okay, there's the guy. Okay, we g I gotta follow the blue guy. Where's the blue guy? I could probably just go off the beaten path if I want, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. And this one, we can actually enter the Xbox room. Um. Uh, so yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, like, little mini-review, um, of, like, a couple games I got. Uh, if you did, smack the like button, and, um, uh, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the Troy's Movies upload. Also, comment down below the names of the games that I didn't play that you want me to. Your four options are Monopoly Party. Chess Master, NBA 2K10, and DDR Ultra Mix 3. So, uh, choose wisely. Um, sorry, uh, choose wisely, because, uh, I can probably only do, like, one or two of these, so, uh, yeah, make a wise choice out of all these. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!